Hello everybody, this is Hollywood Joe with Hollywood's World of Sports with another uh, video from you and today I'm going to be talking about an incident that happened yesterday at the uh, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race at Phoenix. It is the uh, was the second to the last race uh, to go in the season with three drivers in contention for the championship. Uh, those being Jimmy Johnson, Brad Keselowski, and Clint Boyer. Um, towards the end of the race, uh, Jimmy Johnson got into a wreck and wrecked his car and uh, took himself out of the race with about 40 laps to go. And uh, so Brad Keselowski became the new leader and Clint Boyer um, was uh closing in on Jimmy Johnson for second place. Uh, later on, uh, about was about 10, 15 laps to go, uh, Boyer and Gordon kind of tangled a little bit. Um, Boyer just barely touched him and Gordon brushed the wall. And then with one lap left to go, turning on turn three, Jeff Gordon decided to take out Clint Boyer and take out his championship uh, aspirations. Uh, after the wreck was over and Jeff Gordon had gotten out of his car, Clint Boyer's crew went to uh, greet Jeff Gordon in the uh, pit area and Peza basically pummeled them. Uh, there was, I think there was like six guys on one and number one, I don't condone that. Um, if you're going to fight somebody, turn them around and look at them face to face before you take them down or throw a sling or whatever. And it was just a huge melee that had to be broken up by NASCAR officials. Um, once Clint Boyer got back to the pit area and hopped out of his car, he hauled ass to uh, Jeff Gordon's uh, hauler, where, you know, the trailer where they hang out at before the race and security was right there to greet him and for the rest of the evening there was four uh, cops or security guards guarding Jeff Gordon's hauler because there was a lot of pissed off people yesterday but the people that weren't pissed off were the fans the fans the fans just absolutely loved it the fans just really bought into what was going on and I've never I have not seen that much of emotion come out of a NASCAR race in so, so, so long. And, you know, there's a lot, there's been a lot of rivalries in NASCAR the last few years. We've had Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards, where Carl uh, pretty much damn near tried killing Brad in a race. Um, Kevin Harvick versus. Uh, well, actually, I should say Kevin Harvick and Richard Childress taking on uh, Kyle Busch. Uh, as we all know, Richard uh, Childress actually punched Kyle Busch. And uh, with good reason. I don't know if any of you remember. I think it was last year. Uh, Ron Hornaday was in contention to win the truck championship. Kevin Harvick was racing a, uh, a truck race. It was, I think it was the second to last or last race of the year. Him and Ron Hornaday touched up a little bit to bring out a caution. And when the caution laps were out, Kyle Busch drove around all the other trucks and caught up to Hornaday and took him out on a caution lap. And to me, oh my God, that heated things so bad for Richard Childress. And uh, I honestly don't blame Richard for going off the way he did because I would have been pretty pissed off too. Um... You know, over the years, there's been many, many, many heated moments. Obviously, when everyone thinks how NASCAR was on the, got put on the map, everybody thinks the 1990, or no, 1990, 1979 Daytona 500 when Kale Yarborough and Donnie Allison and Bobby Allison all got into a fight um, in the infield grass after... Uh, Donnie and Cal wrecked each other, and that's kind of what it felt like yesterday. It felt like 1979 Daytona. 
And obviously I wasn't born yet, but I have watched the entire race on uh, ESPN Classic or whatever it was. Maybe it was Speed Channel. Um, but I watched it a while back, and then I've seen a couple of documentaries on the race itself. And wow, just freaking wow. And, you know, I, I like feuds in NASCAR. I like these heated feuds in NASCAR because... The drivers don't hold back on how they feel when it comes in to an interview. They take it out. They take care of it on the track and nothing nowhere else, which is a good thing. I remember back in the day, man, Dale, Dale Earnhardt Sr., you know, and I, was, I said this even before I heard the uh, analysts say this. Back then, if you messed with Dale Earnhardt Sr., he wouldn't say anything about it. He would usually, uh, he'd usually uh, catch up to you a week or two, uh, maybe even a few months down the road, and pay you back. And apparently that's kind of happened with what Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer, uh, the situation was going on there. Apparently at Martinsville, uh, Gordon and Boyer tangled, and Gordon obviously blamed Boyer and really, uh, in his mind, he blamed Boyer, but nothing, you know, Gordon never, ever said anything about it. And, you know, the analysts at ESPN, I love their coverage, by the way. I think ESPN, TNT, and Fox do great coverage of NASCAR. But anyways, uh, Ricky Craven, I think it was, that said usually when a driver doesn't talk about tangling with somebody, that usually means that there's payback coming. And I guess in this situation, Gordon had had enough and um, just got fed up and took out Boyer. I do think the timing was wrong. I think he should have maybe waited at some point next year to do it uh, because Boyer was contending for a championship. And uh, Boyer, he didn't say much about it in the post-race interview. So I'm thinking Miami Homestead is going to have some fireworks next week. Uh, I don't think they, at this point, I don't think either one of them care if they get fined heavily or suspended or something, because, or at least on probation. I think what's going to happen is if something happens at Miami Homestead next week, um, they'll probably be put on probation for the entire 2013 year so. Um, like I said, uh, it, 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 it was great coverage yesterday. I actually really, really enjoy, I mean, I always enjoy watching NASCAR. I'm a huge NASCAR fan, have been since I was a kid, but I really, really enjoyed everything that happened yesterday. It was probably, it was a really good thing for NASCAR that, uh, this whole incident happened because NASCAR, it struggles to, for ratings and money and everything else. Um, but I personally think it's better than the NHL right now because NHL um, was on lockout mode. And if uh, the NHL keeps up their crap, NASCAR is going to become more of a bigger deal than the NHL is. Maybe it is already. I don't know. But um, Miami Homestead, the final race of the year, is next week Sunday. I believe coverage starts at 1.30 on ESPN. Uh, Brad Keselowski is your points leader. And Jimmy Johnson is 20 points behind. Uh, Jimmy would have to win the race. And Keselowski would have to finish, I uh, believe, 17th or lower, I believe. So, uh, with that being said, I, I, even if you're not a NASCAR fan, I'd be tuning in to parts of next Sunday to see what happens with the championship. More importantly, to see what happens between Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer. So, um, with that being said, again, this is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports. Remembering always, controversy doesn't come without criticism. And don't forget to check out HollywoodsWorldOfSports.com. Thank you, guys. Have a good, good day.